Magnesium is a tremendously important nutrient that all crops need, and all crops need a lot of it. You're going to find it at pretty high levels on most soil tests. In fact, on our farm, we'll commonly see 500 parts per million or more, and that can be great. But the number one thing we wanted to talk about today is managing the ratio of magnesium to everything else in your soil on a base saturation test. So when you're looking at a soil test, we do want to look at base saturation percentages when it comes to magnesium to help us understand, do we have enough out there? Do we have too much out there? We'd like to see that magnesium percentage be somewhere between 12 and 20%. Now, right away, you may say, well, that's a big range. What really determines if I want to be on the low end of the range or the high end of the range? And what's going to determine that is what kind of soil type you have. For example, if you've got very sandy soil, one of the challenges you have is holding enough moisture. Well, magnesium is a very small particle. And if we have more magnesium in the soil, it tightens up that soil a little bit and you can hold more water. So we'd like to see that towards the 18 to maybe even 20% range on a lighter soil. If we've got a heavy clay soil, Holding water is not our problem. We may be holding too much, and we like to see that range down towards 12 to 14% on the low end. If you're low on magnesium, it's pretty easy to add some. There are a lot of lime sources that have magnesium, the dolomite lime. You could add magnesium sulfate. You could add magnesium sulfate in season. Darren and I were talking about low tissue test levels. If you ever see that, throw a little magnesium sulfate out, no big deal. Lots of forms of magnesium that you can apply on your farm. If you need to lower your magnesium, I'll say this. Let's say you have 40% magnesium or some ridiculous thing. That probably means you have a tight, compacted soil. We just have found, yes, it'd be nice to get that down, but it costs a lot of money and takes time. So the number one thing is fix your drainage, get some tile out there, and then to try to lower that magnesium over time, maybe add some sulfur, and then also add some calcium to change the ratio of calcium to magnesium slowly over time. Don't spend all your dollars fixing magnesium. Make sure you're fertilizing for everything else, then I'd kind of focus on magnesium. Well, here's the other thing with magnesium. If you've got too much out there, it actually raises your soil pH about 1.6 to 1 compared to high calcium levels. So a lot of times people say, oh, I have high calcium soils, my pH is up. If you have high magnesium soils, your pH goes up even more. The most important thing is just make sure you get a base saturation test on your soil test this fall so at least you know, am I too high or too low on magnesium? And then you can start slowly working on that over time. Well, magnesium is certainly an important nutrient, but it won't matter how many nutrients you've got out there if weeds take over your farm. We'll show you how to stop our Weed of the Week coming up next.